Iceland's fish farming laws are among the most stringent in the world. To fulfill all the conditions for acquiring a license to operate a farming site, you'll need to undergo a comprehensive process that spans approximately six to eight years. To activate a farming site, it's crucial to conduct extensive research in the area. The biosphere, ocean currents and the bed of the fjord are examined by the Marine and Freshwater Research Institute and independent parties. These assessments help determine whether sustainable farming practices are possible in each location and establish the maximum allowed biomass that can responsibly be cultivated. This is called a carrying capacity assessment. The next step involves evaluating the potential impact of accidental releases on the wild salmon population. This research is done by the Marine and Freshwater Research Institute and is called Risk Assessment. Iceland is the only country in the world that carries out such an assessment. The third step is an environmental assessment. The companies must do a comprehensive environmental assessment for the fish farming sites and invite the public and governmental authorities to submit comments. The National Planning Agency oversees the process and publishes their conclusion. In the fourth step, the Environment Agency of Iceland ensures that pollution control and monitoring is effectively implemented, among other responsibilities, before granting an authorization. Finally, the Icelandic Food and Veterinary Authority verifies that the farming equipment, quality control systems, general operations and that animal welfare equipment meet the highest regulatory standards. Then an operating license is issued. The complete process may take approximately six to eight years. To ensure the best implementation, the fish farming application is evaluated by the Marine and Freshwater Research Institute, National Planning Agency, the Environment Agency of Iceland and the Icelandic Food and Veterinary Authority, as well as local municipalities and stakeholders in each respective location. It is in everyone's interest that Iceland's aquaculture industry operates in harmony with both the environment and the broader community.